Eric, man, you in the, you in the hot tub or something? Cold tub? No, I'm outside. <laughs> All right, for sure. Hey, man, uh, you know, obviously we, we saw Christian Wilkins back at, at practice. Uh, what kind of, uh, you know, energy does he bring uh, being back there uh, for the defense? Oh, man, I mean, he, he brings a lot of energy. I mean, he's, a, he's obviously a key piece of, of our defense and on the D-line. Uh, so, you know, kind of without him, it, you know, it, it hurt because you don't, you know, you don't want to lose your good players, but it always glad now we got them back. Travis? Hey, Eric, we heard a report today that the Jets will start Sam Darnold on Sunday at quarterback. I'm curious uh, how that changes the way you guys go about things going from Flack, from possibly Flacco to Sam Darnold on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, we, we were prepared for both because uh, obviously it doesn't really change our mindset because, you know, both QBs are, I mean, they're, they're, they're talented. They're good. Obviously, we all know Flacco, uh, you know, even though it's it's been a while, I mean, he wasn't a Super Bowl MVP for no reason. And Darnold, we all know his potential. So, uh, I mean, the fact that, you know, now that we kind of know who's playing, it does give us a better, you know, you know, game plan of some sort. But we're, we're ready for both of them. Hey, Brandon, good afternoon, man. Uh, in the early season, Kentel Mims was not available for the Jets, and you played against him in the Big 12 at Texas and Baylor. Curious to get your thoughts on what Denzel Mims brings to that Jets offense. Yeah, I think um, Mims is just an overall playmaker. Obviously, playing him in college, um, he has a lot of speed. He has very good um, body control, and he just, at the end of the day, just makes plays. So, um, yeah, like playing with him throughout uh, throughout college, he's the same player. He's definitely gotten a lot better, just more comfortable, um, you know, just just making plays in the league, just making that uh, that transition from college to the NFL. Go ahead. Hey, Brandon, I'm asking about uh, Christian, Christian Wilkins. What's it been like uh, having him back at practice? Is, is, it, is it a little louder now that he's back there and just the, the energy that he's bringing? Oh, yeah. You know, Christian's gonna, he's going to bring the juice no matter what, every single day. Um, and it's always good just to have him have him on the field. Obviously, not just the, not only the, the type of player he is, but uh, just the type of, type of guy he is off the field as well. Um, just his personality and just the juice that he brings really carries the team in a long way. Hi, Christian. Hope you're doing well. Obviously, you missed the two games on the COVID list. Are you willing to share with us if you had any symptoms and how you felt through the process? Um, yeah, no. Uh, you know, the the only symptom I got is lack of football itis. You know, that was that was tough. Uh, you know, missing missing two games. I never had to you know miss a game for for anything in my football career. Uh, so that was that was unfortunate for me, but now I'm more excited to be back than ever. Uh, just happy to be back with the guys. So, Cam, obviously we're sort of in this pandemic. Everybody's dealing with it. I'm just curious how how was your mindset during that time when you were away? Obviously you wanted to get back on the field, but you're dealing with some health stuff as well. Yeah, um, you know it was you know like I said I like I was just getting a little antsy, you know, because I just wanted to be back out there with my guys and you know miss some ball is not something I'm I'm used to. Uh, but I was able to just shift my mindset a little bit, think a lot about just life and just, you know, more about football and just how blessed I am to play this game. And, you know, just took time to do that. Um, took time to, you know, pick up, you know, a few more little extra hobbies uh, just to keep me busy in, in, my, in my lots of free time. So, Travis? Hey, Christian, kind of on that same note, uh, we've, we've spoken to Byron Jones in the past, and he talked about kind of the same thing you did, not missing any games. But he said that that was a chance for him to kind of learn how to prepare more mentally for the game. Did you have a chance to kind of step back and, and look more at the film side of things and, and get yourself more mentally prepared? Yeah, um, even with, uh, you know, if, even though I knew I wasn't going to play or anything or with the potential of not being able to play, I still, you know, studied. I still prepare, try to prepare each week like I was playing just to stay sharp. Um, and then also just like I said, just have more time to think about the game, uh, just about the great opportunity I have to play the game every day. Josh? Christian, we got to ask you, man, earlier at uh, practice during stretch, what did uh, Fitz tell you uh, when, um, you know, the soundtrack came on? You know, that was a pretty uh, – uh, <laughs> You know, that was, that was our thing. I'll keep that between me and Fitz. Uh, you know, that's a little bit of an inside joke. But, you know, Fitz also is uh, – he's not quite as intense of a Hamlin fan as me. Um, but, you know, he, he knows the songs a little bit. You know, we, we'll talk about it a little bit, but I'll keep that between me and Fitz. Al? Christian, I have <clears> – <throat> Two questions that have nothing to do with one another, if I could. Number one, earlier you mentioned hobbies. Um, can you elaborate on what they might be 
And secondly, hmm. uh, secondly, uh, social media was speculating whether your celebration had anything to do with Preston Williams' injury. What can you tell us about that? And are we going to maybe see you dial back your celebrations, or are you still going to be the same electric guy you've always been? Um, well, one, uh, you know, to answer your first question, I'm not going to share exactly what those hobbies are. Just stay tuned because when I share it with the world, I'm sure you'll, you know, I got to perfect my craft, but when I share it with the world, uh, you know, that's when you guys will all, I'll see it and know it. I'll keep that kind of to myself for a little bit. Um, but it's good. It's good. It's a definitely a good hobby, a uh, way to challenge my mind, but I'll share that at another, at maybe at a later date once I get a little better. Um, but then also, um, you know, that's, I don't think, you know, I'm still going to bring the same energy uh, to answer your second question. I'm still going to bring the same energy each and every day on the field, play with the same excitement, play with the same joy, get as excited as I do for my teammates. Cause I love this game. Um, and maybe, you know, maybe I could be a little smarter about it. You know, even it's just a speculation. I mean, I don't know, but, um, you know, I'm going to be probably even more energetic because I, I got to make up for two weeks of energy and, and excitement. So we'll, Last one, Josh. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, Christian, uh, last year, you know, you developed and, and grew in your own way. Um, what's it been like uh, working alongside and seeing Raekwon uh, Davis? You know, he's popped up here um, on film the, the past couple of weeks and he's had some good performances. Yeah, no, it's been definitely good to just kind of see him grow and develop, um, you know, because I feel like every rookie goes through those growing pains. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's an adjustment from college to college to the, the pros, regardless of how good you are, how high drafted you are, how low draft, like it's an adjustment for everybody. Um, you know, and luckily for him, he's been able to just improve each, each day in practice and each week. And it's he's just becoming more, you know, uh, learn how to become more of a pro. So that's good to see. And it's good to get to play, play just, you know, now that I'm getting back, it's going to be good fun to play around and just, you know, seeing him improve. Uh, and hopefully I'll just keep being a little bit of a leader and a mentor for him. So.